Hey guys, welcome back to GeekJ, where we make tech, tutorials and gaming simpler and better. Today we're leveling up your Monster Hunter Wilds experience. If you caught our last video on updating FSR binaries for crispier visuals, this is the perfect follow-up. We're fixing crashes, boosting performance and speeding up texture loading with some awesome tools and mods. Let's dive in! So first of all, let's launch the game. So here is the game in its vanilla state. Let me skip through the opening cutscenes and all that jazz. So we are in the Scarlet Forest base camp, as you can see over here. And the game unfortunately looks kind of weird, even though it is improved from the uh, default binaries. As you remember, we did update the FSR binaries of the game. We are on the native screen resolution, so it's 1080p over here, as you can see. And we are using FSR 3.1.4. And uh, we have frame generation enabled and we are on native AA. So there's basically no upscaling happening, right? But at the same time, you might notice that we have some sluggish texture pop-ins or some visual clutter. And it's kind of looking smudgy for some reason. And the character is constantly kind of glowing because of the buffs I'm getting from... Uh, uh, my armor and the decorations I have on and stuff, but look at this like This looks like an upscaled image not even from quality, but like I don't know balanced or something lower It looks super smudged up So I think this is taking away a lot from the game and uh, Let me fire up our adrenaline software and now we'll get some uh, metrics on the screen as you can see the Performance over here is kind of okay-ish. So this is like a, a very weird situation that causes my game. And as I did some research, a lot of people's games to crash constantly. So there are, uh, for example, some um, VRAM uh, leak uh, kind of talks online on uh, some forums and other other stuff are going on like the anti-tamper software of capcom themselves is kind of weird de novo is probably causing issues and stuff but we can basically fix that it's not exactly the hand we signed up for right but we can fix it so no worries we got the fix The first step would be installing the RE framework. This is a game changer for stability and modding. Let me navigate to their GitHub page. And as always, I'm gonna have uh, links in the description below for everything we're gonna use today. Um, so yeah, as you can see over here, uh, as always, we're gonna go to their releases uh, kind of side of the screen on the right side of the screen and I'm gonna click on the plus 19 releases and we actually are not going to download this version which appears to be the latest one if you scroll down a little bit you're gonna notice this little uh, text over here it says your builds can be found here so I'm gonna open this one up and it actually says over here ignore the date shown for this release these are the latest builds so we're gonna go over here and we're gonna download this monster hunter wilds.zip file now after we're done downloading this file we only need to extract one single file the the input 8.dll and just um extracted directly into our Monster Hunter Wilds main game folder. So how do we find our main game folder? I'm gonna 
open up my Steam over here. I'm going to right click on the game, go to manage and then browse local files. I'm going to exit out of my Steam. So as you can see, we will just grab this D input 8.dll and we're going to drag and drop it into our main installation folder. And that's pretty much it for the RE framework. This is just step one. Next, we are hitting up Nexus mods for two must have mods in my opinion. First up, the persistent buff glow removal. And as you saw earlier, while I was in the game, my character was kind of glowing the whole time. So I couldn't really uh, see the character, you know, in a realistic way. It's kind of Im immersion breaking. I don't know if that is how it works for you guys. Like, I understand if I get it sometimes or if I just received a buff in the game. I wanted to show that I got the buff like visually on my armor. I want to see like a text and then probably I don't want to see anymore. Only when it expires, I want to see some kind of, you know, effect once again. If I'm glowing constantly with, you know, like neon colors on my screen, I don't know what's going on. And, you know, Monster Hunter as a game is uh, chaotic <laughs> by itself it doesn't need like extra visual stuff to do this and as you can see over here this is an re framework script this is a lua script and we get the ability to configure or suppress glowing effects on the hunter from item skills weapons and some other obnoxious vfx as well so we're gonna go to files and we're gonna do a manual download so after you download the file, we're going to double click it. And as you can see, we have the re framework over here file. And uh, where do we put this? It's going to go directly into our main game folder. And it actually consists of auto run and then persistent buff glow removal LUA. So basically this mod clears out those annoying um, glowing effects that can clutter your screen during hunts or probably cause eye strain just like I had. So the second mod we're going to install Disable Lens Distortion and this is what basically makes the game look like a smudge fest. So you can see this is with the lens distortion disabled and this is with it enabled. You can find those two comparison uh, screens on the mod itself. And this is what causes all that silliness um, on how the game looks. It's a very stark difference. And uh, yeah, you can see like the whole smudginess and then everything becomes clear. So we're gonna head into files and then we're gonna use the manual download once again. So it basically cuts out unnecessary visual effects that can drag down performance. And uh, let me show you how we're gonna install this. It's extremely simple, exactly what we did before. We're gonna double click on this file. You can see the reframework folder over here. We're just gonna drag and drop this in our main installation folder and as you can see the disable lens lua file is also here so let's move on to the third uh thing we're gonna do for our game so this is gonna be the last step we are gonna be updating microsoft direct storage binaries to speed up texture loading but if we navigate to the Nexus page, you can see here it says direct storage 1.2.2 upgrade to 1.2.3 IO starter fix. But there is a, a little note over here. It says no longer necessary. This mod replaces the direct storage DLL files with DLLs from direct storage 1.2.3, which resolves egregious blah, blah. So it says it's no longer needed, right? And it says latest patch updated direct storage, leaving this here for historical purposes only. 
And if we hover over our DLL files over here, we're going to see that we have the 1.2.2407 version for both uh, the DS storage DLL and DS storage core DLL. And uh, I did notice I got some improvement when I updated to the even uh, newer version of direct storage. But to make sure everything will work and uh, you don't need to, you know, verify your game files and stuff like that. First of all, what we're going to do is back up these two uh, original files. So how I usually do this is to just uh, create a zip file. So I'm going to right click on this and we're going to go add to archive with our 7-zip. You can use whatever uh, other program you want to use. I'm going to do mh wilds ds storage backup right and i'm gonna click on the ok button and if i refresh you will see here we have this mh wilds ds storage backup right so these are the two files we need to update and uh, over here, if we go to the download section, it only has the 1.2.3 upgrade DLLs. So these are not the DLLs we actually need. So if we go back to the description, you're going to see here um, that they have a direct link to Microsoft's page for the direct storage uh, binaries. So I'm going to click on that. And as you can see over here, we can actually download the latest version, which is the 1.2.4 version of the direct storage binaries. So we just click download package over here. So once we've downloaded this archived file, we're going to double click on it. As you can see, we get a lot of files and folders. It can be a little bit confusing, but we're going to go into uh, the native folder bin x64. And then we're going to grab these two files and I'm going to drag and drop them in here. And then I'm going to exit out of this. So let's hover over them. And as you can see, this is a newer build than what we have in the game. So this is the 1.2.2504. The same goes for the core 1.2.2504. I'm going to copy these. Then we're going to go back into our Monster Hunter Wilds main installation folder. I'm going to paste and I'm going to replace the files in the destination because we already have a backup. So no matter what happens, we're going to be able to revert back to the original files. And as you can see, now both of these files read 1.2.2504. So now that we've swapped the old binaries uh, for the new ones in our game folder, we are set. So it's time for the moment of truth. Let's launch the game and see the magic happen. So as you can see over here, our e framework has loaded in. If we click on the script runner, you're gonna just scroll a little bit down here and you can see we have the persistent buff glow removal and a disable lens running at the moment so as you can see there is no glow on my character constant glow and also everything is a lot crispy everything is a lot crispier than before we don't have that smudginess going on it's a lot clearer especially if we speak with characters Everyone looks a lot better. We go outside. The game is a lot more stable in general and the performance as well is in turn a lot more smooth and just to demonstrate that we haven't changed 
any of the settings you can see here we're still in 1080p and we are on fsr 3.1.4 still we have the frame generation enabled and this is on amd native aa and all of the other settings are exactly the same as before so yeah hopefully this is going to help you guys as well So no more crashes, texture load a lot faster and the visuals are sharp and distraction free. This is how Monster Hunter Wilds was meant to be played in my opinion. That's it folks. A quick and easy way to fix crashes and supercharge your Monster Hunter Wilds experience. If this helped you out, smash that like button, subscribe and click on that bell to never miss any more of these geeky goodness and revisit our FSR binaries video for even better graphics. See you in the next hand. Stay geeky. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.